All right, Montreal, <laughs> four to one. We're gonna get there. What happened here? So, oh man, we got uh, two Atlantic goals out of the gates, right? We got one from Silva, Silva uh, from uh, a pass from Saba. Yet again, there's another one where there's no uh, offside technology. I thought maybe that one was offside. What did you think? First goal offside in that game? Um, I think it kind of was. You want to show know. it? Let's see. I'm, I'm hoping, trying to find my. I'm hoping hoping saying is I hope this this really aligns really well with your conspiracy theory because, <laughs> like, I hope a computer's making this call because I my eyes certainly aren't good enough. I got to take these glasses on and off, and uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, again. There's the cross. Sure looked like it was close. I think obviously it went across the line, but we don't have goal line technology either, Dave. <laughs> yet again, <laughs> so I think I think you know. Assuming he's on side, right? This is definitely a goal across the line, in my opinion. But uh, it's just. It's Can a, you show the clip one more it's, time? It's coming. I think oh, this yeah. is the angle right here. Boom. And then they pause it. I just yeah, pause. they, I they do. It. Yeah, they, they pause it there. And then. But oof. one thing I'll say is just like the last goal that we thought was offside or maybe offside, right? Both of them are really early good balls from Saba. Correct. He doesn't wait. And that's the difference between him and Mascara. Mascara doesn't yeah. make that. And ball, the difference really. between Lennon. Lennon can't cross that ball. Yeah, maybe. Lennon, yeah, I Lennon doesn't have that in his He's bag. classier about thinking about it early. Yes. He's faster thinking. I agree. I agree. And actually, <laughs> Lennon is probably capable of serving a better ball, but it doesn't matter when you have that quick thinking. Yeah. Right? Because you just put it out in front. It's the thinking part that Saba has that mm -hmm. I, I think is just it, at some point you either – you don't have that. So in we your... scored that one is in the 30th minute or whatever. Um, in the 16th minute, right? We just came out and dominated this match, yeah. right? So you were at the game. We just dominated the mm -hmm. opening things. In the 16th minute, we're dominating. Lennon is pinched in, right? They play a long ball over the top, right? And Lennon gets nowhere close to coming back. The guy cuts in and takes a right footer. And I mean, it went over the cross by, crossbar by about six inches. They up until that moment had had nothing. It was 15 minutes of one-way traffic. And yet the first goal, almost very close. The best, the closest to coming to scoring was Montreal first and their only chance up the field. And yeah. it was because a freaking long ball over where Lennon didn't even come close to addressing him. Yeah. And this I have is a huge problem. You cannot dominate for 15 minutes at home and then give up a sucker punch. That's the soft goal. And, you know, Pineda won't talk about it because we didn't give it up. Yeah. Right. But it was coming. Yeah. And well, it came. Yeah, it came eventually. But we get we get a really nice goal in the 40th minute. We give up that exact same goal as we'll see in a second. So let's go to the let's just go to happiness. Right. With, Yay, with happiness. Again, Wiley doing a great job of bombing down the left side. And think, look at the first touch by Silva on this. Play. It is master class. Oh, my God. Master and class. then just, you know, goes out to force the keeper to either foul him. But keeper knows better. Boom, does, doesn't foul him, Ooh. and then he just says, "Here you go, Almada." Boom. Yeah, well yeah. Done. A little Cruyff pass back to Almada and call it a day. He does two amazing things on that play. His first touch is super classy. He lets the ball come past him to his right foot. He makes a touch out far enough where he has time to get out and run on it. Yeah. And then the goalkeeper Three. comes out. He fakes it goes around him and then has the composure not to try to squeeze yeah. it in horribly. Right. He had a composer just to stand yeah. on it, take a look and look, find the open guy. Yeah. It was, it was great class well class. Done. That guy's not a designated player. People. Yeah. Which is but, amazing. Which is what I remember. I was saying, I was like, hopefully we can get that kind of whatever you call it, the Tam level player like uh, that. But the ironic part is Saba is like that Tam level player. He's a designated player, yeah. but he's close enough to where they can apparently buy him down. Right. So we have two players who are almost designated player quality, and yet neither of them have to be a designated player. So, I mean, you have to say Gareth Lagerway, I mean, signings look brilliant. Yeah. Elliot asked, should Atlanta buy Silva for next season? That yeah, because he's only on loan. Oh, okay. From Portugal, from Por Portugal, from Porto, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So far, so, I mean, so, so, far so good. I yeah. mean, I think it, it all depends on the 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 price. The price, yeah. I mean, that's the tough part about MLS. Sure, you certainly you certainly like him as a player, but then it comes down to the the alternatives and the money. 
uh yeah let's let's get to let's get to the goal right here right so you got it lined up perfectly here right so why first off i i, I know a lot led up to you know this ball coming out of the back um a lot of just nothing the, standing yeah. around watching but why <laughs> why is there that big of a gap i know you know Yakimaki is not afraid to pressure the center back. So he loves to do that. So why we're just so far back here. Why are we giving like everybody knows what's about to happen, right? So you should be able to defend this. We have people back. We, we actually have our line of four in the back is absolutely perfectly aligned. Lennon sees it coming, knows it's coming waves that it's coming. So the whole defense knows this ball is coming, right? Cause you, cause for whatever reason, this guy's got all day to look up and play it over the top. There's one guy who doesn't know it's coming. Who's that? Pineda. Because okay. he keeps asking Lennon to pinch in and give it to him. Okay. He's Hold like, on. let him go. That's, that's another thing. Like, <laughs> I, I don't, like, yeah, he is pinching in a bit on this play. Yeah. But I don't think, like, it was that significant enough to be, like, a true, the, the classic pinching that we've been talking about all season. If you cannot get out to address the player, when their center back plays a 40 yard ball from 10 yards in his own half lofted, yeah. it's not even driven. You'll watch yeah. this ball. It's okay. not even driven. Then you are too far in. Okay. You're not close enough. Watch the ball. You have to be able to get there. I don't know. Just clueless. I, I don't know. I watched this play a bunch of times. I don't, Carmen, what do you think? Like, I, I think, I don't know, like, even if he was pinching and if he was over another five feet, 10 feet, I don't, I don't think that really actually makes a difference on him being able to, to stop that, that guy who took it off the top of his shoulder. It just uh -huh. was a really, I'm going to tell you why you're wrong. Okay. And the reason why you're wrong is because if he's even close to there, then what he does is he forces the guy to run around him. Yeah. Okay. Right? And even you don't even have to do that's anything. A that's, you just have to force the guy to okay, run around. So that's you. a fair point. Okay. So yeah, it's like, uh, and we you've talked about this before in the same situations like football, right? Like it, it's that bump, right? That you right. have to, yeah. you know, in it, and you're talking about um, when you're playing zone defense, zone on corners, right? Like you have when you play man be man, right? You create that bump. You create that. You have to go around me if you're going to go get there. Me. And th so that's that's a fair. It's a free run. That's a free run. Okay, I I, I hear you there. Okay. Fair point. Fair point. He's pointing at the guy. Yeah, he and, knows he's and, there. <laughs> and Miles would have had the guy that he was up up next to. Yeah. So. And then yeah, everybody else. For gets... what? And if you go back to the start of that play, right? If you just look at his positioning, the other thing about it is, you know, he's positioned there for what? What, what, what's the reason, what's the rationale right. for him to be in there, right? If you go right. back to where you first so, had So to it, your point, if you can just be up bothering him, making him run around you, do something, because obviously Lennon knew it. He was waving his hand, eyeballing him. He knew he was there. Yeah, I think he's saying, Pineda, free me. <laughs> free me. <laughs> right? That guy is out there. I can't stay with him. I'm not fast enough, and you better let me go get in his way. What yeah. are you doing asking me to stand next to miles every okay. time and he's doing it every time yeah this happened this is the exact same thing that happened in the 16th minute and i bet it's in the in the highlight package i haven't really looked yeah. but in the 53rd minute it happens on the other side well there's two things i think you're right on this which i don't like to admit which is <laughs> you you are you are right on the like creating like a like a bump right making him go around yeah the, the the second thing is like if he's out closer to him the guy who's looking up to play it never would have played never would have played it, played yeah, it. <laughs> exactly so there's yeah there's two other little logical things there um all right but then, Can you look and see whether in the, they have the highlight in the 53rd minute? Sure. This is uh, Montreal. I'm not sure whether it's in the highlight package, but you Barely. can keep talking while she does that. Yeah, let me put yeah. y'all on the camera. Yeah, well, then then we close this game out with two goals, though, which was another joyous thing to see at the Mercedes-Benz. A three-goal lead yet again at the Benz to walk out of the stadium. Carmen, I'm sure that felt good. It did. Absolutely. Because after they when they scored that, goal is right kind of right for half it was like yeah. oh geez here we go so yeah the 53rd minute is the one where they hit the post off the header <clears throat> oh yeah that was one uh miles robinson yeah so that's another one where the the the, the winger had all day to cross it right mm -hmm. i think it is in the highlights it's in here somewhere there it is, is right it? there yeah 
So if you back up a hair, hair. you'll see the guy who uh, has all day to cross it here. And again, that's a, that's, that's the problem. Like you said, in this league, right? If in you, any league, in any league at this level, <laughs> yeah. If if you've got a guy out wide Look like this him. with no pressure, he looks up and can play it. And even if you're Miles Robinson there, like you're trying to, you know, yeah. defend it. Like that guy's a bigger guy than Miles. Miles like, is like all over him. He's all and over. This is what him. you're yeah. so frustrated about as a center back. You're like, why are you giving him all day to pick out yeah. this guy? I'm all over him, and I still can't prevent that. Yeah, because it's a perfect ball. Right, it's a perfect ball to go attack. The goalkeeper can't get yeah. there. The defender can't do anything, and there's nothing you can do about that. He's about as in as good a defensive position as you yeah. possibly could, and they should have scored. Yeah, that's a great uh, part of this highlight to go back to. I was thinking the same thing when I saw that. I was like, why does that guy have all day to just basically look down <laughs> at the ball? He's like, is it on the right part of the <laughs> right part of the grass? Okay, now I'm going to look up and pick up my huge striker in the middle of the field and put it right in his head. And Miles can't do anything about that, but. Then we get uh, another nice goal. Um, I think this one was a gift to George Yakamakis for his 14th goal. I think he's now tied for 14. Or did anybody else get more goals than him? I got maybe we'll, maybe we'll tied for the up. lead. So Mukhtar and he are tied. Mukhtar, at 14. he and and, um, and Costa or who? Uh, yeah, else? Luciano Costa. Right? Yeah, look at that. I'm, so yeah, I said I didn't do any research, but I guess I, I must have to say you're on top of it, man. Uh, but yeah, what a what a, I mean, this is why Gigi is such a snake, and I love him. and uh, yeah, the I I do think it did come off the defender last day. What did you think? Yes, yeah, I think clear. I think Silva may have gotten a tap on it, but then the defender actually drug his leg for, yep. forward, and it ended up passing it to Gigi. And right, so goalkeeper plays it out to the defender. Silva taps Silva it. goes pressures him, and then he just kicks the ball yeah. back. Yeah, and it looked like oh maybe Silva poked it, but in the replay he didn't poke it. That yeah. was a defender who passed it. Now yeah. he was stumbling slightly because of Silva. I don't think it's a foul. It would have no. been the softest no foul way. ever. No way. So to me, I think it's a goal because yeah. it's a pass foot, back. Silva's foot comes right in the side of his foot, and it may have like brushed the ball, but then that guy just drags his leg through it. And, and what a classy finish! What a it was finish. so nice. Goalkeepers out. I'll just bend it over you. A lot of people would have put that over the top. Yep. And I that, mean, that yeah. is. It's that one is, touch, by the is, way. That is way harder than it looks. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. one touch. He didn't yes. even get a chance to, you know, most people take an extra touch, right? He just yeah. lets it come across him. Watch watch this play. Right? I I'm more that, they let it come across him. So and, nice. Yeah. And I have to apologize, Quinn. It was literally right after halftime, and I was coming back from eating, and I was talking to uh, Quinn, and then we missed it. <laughs> so I, I really enjoyed the last goal in this um, yep. again I, I think this shows some of the iq wolf has what a freaking ball from wolf right oh my god what? this is a sensational yeah. pass sensational yeah. pass to release it out wide yeah, it's a little bit a little further back, back than this yeah back or... back um no it's the 90th minute yeah, so there was a red card there, but yeah, this is good. You can probably let it run from I'd here. Run from here. But yeah, w Wolf picks this ball up, uh, you know, on the far side of the field that he is on on the left side, and looks up and doesn't hesitate, right, Dave, and just plays a crisp ball all the way to the other side of the field. By the by, the way, I do think that was a red card. Now that we're on this, what was your take? Regardless, he was going to get sent off. But here Here's it is, boom! Look at that! Look at that ball! <laughs> That's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, and then Mascara does, well. does a nice job of saying, "Hey, let me lay it off to Almada." So now Almada, instead of doing a Lennon cross, there does the IQ. Thing Here's the question: If that's Barry, does he make that run? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and the last thing I want to say is, don't take your shirt off, man. Yeah, what but he, didn't get a, he didn't get a card though. He didn't. No, I what? Did. It's <laughs> not supposed to be automatic. I, are you? Are we sure about that? I'm pretty really? sure. Go to the, go to the the, the things that is certainly on TV. They never showed I, it. They described it. I nothing. had the same observation. I'm like, is this just inconsistency of MLS? Is it because yes. it was the end yes. and the guy was like trying think, to get out? Well, first What's of all, happening? because he had the thing underneath it, he wasn't like naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but go if you go well, back to the box score, man, bro. So, so click on our match. It our match. No, yeah, you, it's line. easier to go back. Go back and just click on Atlanta. Okay. No, no, yeah. Okay, just click on Atlanta, right. and then, yeah. <laughs> and then go to that match, right? Montreal. Where were we? 
yeah. and just see whether they listed it as anybody in cards. Just yeah. a red card. Just a red card. There you go. What? I was thinking the same I thing when you. I was watching it. I was like, they, they never referee. gave him a yellow cover. No, it's when, he th- to be automatic. when he threw his shirt off, I was like, you idiot. Yeah, why, right? why, why? why pick up that? That was the first thing. I was like, why pick I up agree. a yellow card? Like, these are useless yellow cards. Like, as a coach, as a coach I would have this policy that yourself. would be ridiculous. Right. Like, like, you're out the next game if you do I agree. that. I agree um, with you, too. Yes. All right. So, in the, we, we, we showed the clip. So, the 88th minute, right? So the new player, Tiare, yeah. right? So he's super fast, I guess, or at least he was on that one play. <laughs> he runs back and he draws the last man back foul, right? So it was a red card for denial of a clear goal scoring chance. And we don't need to talk about whether it was actually that. But okay. what was the interesting thing on the, on, the, on the broadcast? They were talking about not whether or not he should have been sent off. But whether that was a second yellow and then he gets sent off or whether it was a straight red. He went straight red. He though. went straight he red. He did, but he was already on a yellow. Right. right? Yeah. So that apparently, and I forgot to look this up. And so maybe if you're out there, you can hit us up on Twitter or in the commentary. What is the difference between a red card that came from two yellows versus a straight red? They were implying that there's a difference in the disciplinary I think committee. Is, yeah. I thought that, yeah. Let's and I don't know uh, what yeah, that I is. Was. I was like, who cares? He's off. <laughs> right? Yeah, I think there, I think there is. And I, I again, this is where I don't know if, I don't know so how I that, meant, I, I don't know how that. that even applies in the EPL. I think it is a difference in the EPL as well. I think those are two different types of. I ha- I've always thought that violent conduct versus not is a big difference, but there's no technical difference between a second yellow and a red. I think there is, but we'll have to prove me right or wrong on that. Um, 